and Milam Tonda. Now, your neighborhood forecast with Chief Meteorologist Brett Cummins and Perella Lewis. This is Weather for Arkansas. And welcome back to Weather for Arkansas. Some much anticipated rainfall finally making its way into the state. Unfortunately, looks like it's going to be here a while. That's exactly right. The trend has been for it to increase through the night, and we may even hear a few rumbles of thunder a little bit later on as well. And with that, we take you right outside and let you know exactly what is going on with live cast Doppler. You'll notice the north and western part of the state definitely getting hit the hardest. More than two inches of rainfall has been received already throughout parts of the state. Even the north and western part of the state under a flash flood watch as we speak. A lot going on outside, a lot going on in here at KARK. Something else that we're introducing to you is Forecast First, which is when we give you a look at your extended forecast first right now and also at the end of the show. We're going to show you the next several days and what you can anticipate. You'll notice, however, that the rainfall will continue through about Tuesday morning. Then we're going to see a clearing and then we're going to see probably some more rainfall for this weekend. Something we'll take you through and show you again in just a second, let's take a look at some of your temperatures and see what's going on outside your home right now. You'll notice off to the northwest where there actually has been some rain, a much cooler, much warmer off to the south and eastern part of the state. That will change as the rainfall will also affect us as well. There's plenty of rain to go around. We'll all get a little bit here. We just have to be a little bit patient. 53 in Russellville right now, 64 in Blythesville, 66 in Stuttgart, and 70 degrees right now in Camden. So some places below seasonal, other places above. We've kind of been cut in half. 65 right now in Cabot, 71 in Lone Oak, 74 in White Hill. And as you're getting the kids ready for school tomorrow between 6 and 7 o'clock, you can certainly anticipate scattered showers and we're looking at about 60 degrees. So rainy but warm. Here to tell you more about your forecast is Chief Meteorologist Brent Cummings. Thanks a lot, Perella. Not only is Arkansas having to deal with plenty of rainfall, but our rain is also coming to us straight out of Oklahoma, and we've got more rain on the way out of Texas. As a matter of fact, Texas has been having to deal with some tornado watch boxes over the past several hours, moving from the west to the east. Notice that nasty-looking line right there just past the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex continue to move on off to the east now. Some clearing taking place behind it, but as this rain moves into state, it's going to be kind of a slow mover. Looks like it's going to progress for the next 24 to 36 hours, and we're going to have to deal with some heavier rainfall here in Arkansas. As a matter of fact, what we're looking for for tomorrow is the chance of not only rainfall, but the possibility of some of that turning into thunderstorms that could be severe. The main threat would be hail and the possibility of some damaging winds, mainly south of I-40 from, say, Fort Smith toward El Dorado. And then the worst of it, I think, is going to be down toward Louisiana and back in the southwestern portions of Mississippi. We'll talk more about that, of course, a little bit later. 64 tonight, overcast skies expected, rain and thunderstorms certainly likely, especially south and southwestern Arkansas. We'll monitor the chance of some of that being severe. Sunrise is tomorrow at 735 and the winds are out of the southeast about 5 to 15 miles per hour. This is what we're expecting for tomorrow. Rain continuing, 67, the best we can do for a high temperature. Cloudy, with areas of rain and thunderstorms. Winds out of the south, quite gusty at times, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Your extended outlook, not looking too bad once we get past about Tuesday morning, but still that 60% chance of rain tomorrow lingering into early Tuesday, only 20% dry for Wednesday and Thursday as we'll see a return to sunshine. But you notice we don't cool down. We warm up, as a matter of fact, after the system passes through. 74 for Wednesday, 78 degrees on Thursday, and our next chance of showers come in on Friday and Saturday, but don't look like it's going to be nearly as bad as what we're going to have to deal with the next few hours in the state. I'm wondering, though, with those temperatures warming up now in April, what we're going to have in July and August. Oh, let's, let's <laughs> yeah. not even go there. Let's, let's just let's, enjoy, let's, let's hold off. For right now. Okay. Enjoy spring-like temperatures, <laughs> just like, of course, we're enjoying our weather center. Oh, it's beautiful back there. Great? You can do so much with it, it's too. It's giant. That's why we uh, brought so many of our old things over from the, new, uh, from the old center, and uh, we're going to uh, introduce you to some mm -hmm. new things tonight as well. We've got a lot of things coming up, a lot of new gadgets to tell you about. We'll take you on a tour of our new forecast center when we come back. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. Welcome back, everyone. We want to take a few minutes to welcome you to our new forecast center. We're very excited about having several new ways to bring you weather for Arkansas. That's right. We've updated some of our weather tools that you've already been familiar with, adding more advanced technology to help us localize your forecast even more. Live Forecast Doppler is one of those tools that is now more enhanced to bring you weather for Arkansas. We've also updated and expanded Neighborhood WeatherNet and look forward to showing you even more schools, more communities, what's going on in your neighborhood in the coming weeks. You know KRK has been known to be the first in new and exciting concepts in weather. Tonight is just another example of our commitment to you and to Arkansas's weather. That's exactly right. Now, we know your weather, we know your time are all so important, so we're giving you weather headlines. Those can be seen above us right now. 
scrolling across the top of your screen while we're here is simply the bottom line weather information that you need every time we give you weather for Arkansas. That's right, and when those headlines turn severe, we built a severe weather information center just for you to tell you when there's a tornado watch, a tornado warning, severe storms, flash flood, or winter weather. This warning system reinforces the current weather conditions that threaten you and your family. And now for a term I know you're going to be hearing a lot here at News for Arkansas, forecast first. We know just how important weather is to you, so we'll give you weather five times, five times throughout the newscast. It begins with forecast first. You'll get your weather forecast before the news even starts, and then after the first few minutes of news, we'll bring you your four-day forecast. You'll also get your extended forecast before and after our complete weather segment, and then again at the end of the newscast. These are just some of the ways that we've strengthened our weather commitment to you. We look forward to bringing you weather for Arkansas. We sure do. Now let's go back to the main set with Bob, Denise, and Mark for a look at sports. And turning to sports, Mark Rushing is in. And a lot of rain outs, rain delays today. Yeah, a lot of baseball and NASCAR. Uh, yeah, that's it, the uh, big one. <laughs> NASCAR, of course, got postponed. But while we're enjoying our new digs here, the Razorbacks are enjoying their first spring at Reynolds Razorback Stadium, where they held their first major scrimmage Saturday. And the offense had the upper hand once again. Hang on, Sports for Arkansas is next. continues with sports from Mark Rushing. This is Sports for Arkansas. Welcome to Sports for Arkansas. The Razorback offense continues to dominate the defense this spring. It was obvious from the first play of Saturday's scrimmage that the defenders were going to be pushed around again as Matt Jones picked up where he left off last season. It looked like a run pass option. He ran and it was a good option as it resulted in a 65-yard touchdown. All three quarterbacks looked good. And Carlos Owsley, a freshman transfer from Wake Forest, led all receivers with four receptions for 94 yards and a pair of touchdowns, while Cedric Cobbs picked up 60 yards and scored twice on seven carries. He's really done a good job. Um, and uh, with his life off the field, that's what I'm most impressed with. But he's hitting the hole. He's not dancing, if you notice, when he gets you know, in the line of scrimmage. He's hitting the hole, and then he's letting Mother Nature take over. Where last year, uh, there were some times where he came up looking around trying to find the big room. Where I've, I've been really impressed with his toughness and hitting the hole. The Arkansas Twisters kicked off the arena football season last night and had a chance to take the lead with under two minutes to play. The Tennessee blocked a field goal attempt and tacked on a late score for a 37-28 victory. A trip to Wichita is up next for the Twisters. Bill Elliott set a new qualifying record at the new faster track at the Texas Motor Speedway, but no one was moving around the track very quickly today as almost nonstop rain forced the Radio Shack 500 to be postponed until Monday. The new start time, high noon. So if you're a NASCAR nut, tomorrow might be a good day to play hooky. Little Rock's Glenn Day has had a good week at the Bell South Classic, tied for 20th place heading into today's final round. He wound up tied for 12th at 6 under, 10 strokes behind Retief Goosen, the South African who won the U.S. Open last year. This eagle chip, well, it helped him pick up his second PGA victory. He finished 16 under. Of course, Phil Mickelson was only two shots back going in and briefly took the lead today, but the old choke mechanism was in full effect once again. He pulled this drive into the drink and finished the round one over. Next stop, the Masters. The Arkansas Travelers picked up their first one of the season last night. They hoped to turn the victory into a streak today at Wichita, and the Travs did just that, whipping the Wranglers five zip. Mike Christensen led Arkansas with a home run and a couple of singles. Four hours and 23 minutes. That's how long it took Arkansas to finish off South Carolina Saturday night as Jeff Fletcher hit a three-run homer in the 15th inning to give the Razorbacks an 8-7 win over the fourth-ranked team in the nation. In fact, the Hogs had a chance to sweep the Gamecocks, but today's game was rained out and won't be made up. Arkansas is now 17-11 overall, 4-5 in SEC play. By the way, UALR and ASU did get their game in as the Indians thumped the Trojans 13-3. In case you missed it, Royals rookie Pedro Asensio had a little trouble in his Major League debut Saturday. His first four pitches were balls. His next four, four more balls, so on and so forth. Four batters, four walks, 16 straight balls, and he gave up a run in the process, and then merciful, mercifully, he was pulled. 
I don't know. Maybe they pulled him too quickly. Maybe they should yeah. have given him four, eight, twelve, sixteen more balls. I was going to say they really got him out of there when they needed to, didn't they? Right. That's right. Four not, have, walks. not having a ball in the major. <laughs> not not having a ball yet. All right, Mark. Thanks very much. You bet. Stay with us. We've got another look at your forecast. Right here. Right. Quick look at the forecast. Well, we still got a lot of rain coming in tonight. You probably wouldn't believe it. You live in eastern Arkansas, but we do have rain. It's the western <laughs> part of the state right now. It's, it will be moving your way, but your extended forecast goes like this. 90% of rain tonight, 60% for tomorrow. 67 will be your high temperature gradually warming back up as the sun returns toward the middle of the week, back into the mid and upper 70s. Better chances of rain again to come back on Friday and Saturday. So you just need an umbrella when you head out the door in the morning. That's exactly right. Tomorrow will be the worst day of the week. And okay. it's, it's Monday, so, you know, rain right. days and Mondays, well, whatever. Right. And you're like breaking the hell off, you know. <laughs> That's, That's right. I've really had a great weekend. Most of our weekend was pretty good. All right, Brett, thanks very mm -hmm. much. And if, you know, it's going to be raining tomorrow. NASCAR at noon if, uh, if the rain holds off. In the Dallas Fort Worth. One of the benefits we'll of working at a TV station. <laughs> I could come to work and watch TV. And then watch TV. <laughs> we'll watch Thanks that. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Have you, hope you have a great night and certainly hope to see you back here tomorrow.